Hey guys, it's me, Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to another $10 abandoned storage unit that I won in a bid. You might call it a trash unit. Hopefully I found some gems in there. I mean, for $10, how can you go wrong? So I'm currently leaving work to go directly there. It's actually closer to my work than it is to my home. So I'm kind of just figuring out kind of what to do. I'm thinking it's going to be a one and done, one shot. There is a big foam mattress in there. And I'm hoping I'm going to be able to cut it up. Those of you who don't know, I drive a Hyundai Accent. And I pretty much do these by myself. <laughs> so um, I try to do the best I can and try to do it all in one fail swoop. Hopefully we'll find some good stuff. Next stop, storage unit. All right, guys, I'm not going to lie. The picture made it look like it had a lot less in it. <laughs> This may not be a one loader for me. I thought it was gonna be a one loader, but I can't see anything that what you guys might be seeing. But this might not be a one loader. <laughs> I don't even know what that is back there. It looks very big and hopefully it'll fit in a Hyundai accent. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm gonna get my gloves on. We'll get started. It's very bright, this is the outside unit. All right, so this is the first time there's also other people like shortly close by. I just grabbed the first box I saw. And this is pretty neat already. I could use this for the flea market, and I totally wish now I hadn't bought the ones. And there's a ring in here. You see the ring? So that's the keeper. This is Eddie and Fern. I could probably sell that at the flea market for 50 cents. On top of a butter thing. Big purse. I did get new gloves, see? I got the ones that can't mess with you, or you can't. And it, the purse is very heavy. Look at all this jewelry. I got five those for 50 cents a piece. Holy crud, the whole thing is full of jewelry, of beads. Like, the whole entire thing is full. That is a score already in, in itself. I brought different types of bags, stuff I'm gonna take with me, stuff I'm gonna go to the trash. I'll still go through things a little bit more. This one has look! It's like a tuning set. Holy crud. Alright, so for ten dollars already, I'm ready to make out like a bandit. Like, not gonna lie to you. I really wish I wasn't in the sun because it's like very hot today. Crystal ball. $10 guys. And that's rag. And the thing to hold the thing. I just literally ordered something off of Timu to get to put my egg on. I mean, so far this is the best $10 unit I've ever gotten. <laughs> then we have the Ultra. Ultron a book? I don't know. <laughs> and then this is... Look, somebody, somebody wrote a whole story in here. Holly Kelly. If ever found, please mail to. Mail, mail, mail to her. Huh. That's neat. That's just box number one. And then we have a lot of missing... Oh, look at this. If it works. I mean, a little speaker. Obviously, I'll have to test some of this stuff out later. Now, do we think these batteries work? <laughs> some are corroded. Lots and lots of batteries. I'm thinking I'm not going to take the chances with the batteries. I can't wait till I'm going to be a little bit farther in this sucker. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be a one and done. And that's a nice blanket. I think I should wash that one shoe if I can find the other one that'd be nice and I might like you say like just take all the clothing and just this is an extra large shirt and it's nice make a whole thing of and we got some this is gonna be a hard one just a glasses case but it's bent that'll go in the trash one glove find the other glove that'd be good for storage units too it's got like leather on the inside Another random shoe, which if I find the multiples of the shoes, I can usually clean. These are L.O. Beans. I usually clean them pretty good. I hope the sun isn't making it too difficult for you guys, but it is what it is, right? Oh, here's another one of the tuna forks. That probably goes with 
the rest of the stuff. This is gonna be a lot, guys. This is gonna be a lot. My main thing is I need to get that out of here. So I think maybe I'm just gonna cut that sucker. I'm just gonna cut it right now, get that and see how much I get it in my car. To see then what we'll be able to do after that. This might be a multiple day. This might even be a three day. I don't know. It's a lot. <laughs> I looked through the rest of the thing in there. Look at all this extra jewelry. Remember, I paid $10 for this unit. So I'm still gonna make sure I got everything out of this bag. I'm almost tempted to leave this for later, but I kind of feel like it's going to be like the scapegoat. Like I need to make sure I can get it in the car and how small I'll have to make it. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. It's about 9,000 degrees outside now. <laughs> my knife will not cut through it. My dad's on his way. I'm pretty sure he's not super excited. <laughs> Been finding a lot of good finds. Some trash. This is how far I've gotten. That's it. That's it. So I'm probably going to do the as I go with this one because I need to get this done as quickly as possible. Also, I forgot to show you a bottle of St. Germain. <laughs> Not that I'm keeping it because who knows what's been tainted or anything with that one, but there it is. Guys, I just opened up a purse and found $32. This unit cost me 10 bucks. $32 in a purse. I mean, come on. I'm inside the unit now. I got bags of trash, bags of keeps, bags I need to wash. There's so many things that I've got found in here that I've literally just purchased and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's crazy. I have a feeling most of the stuff I'm going to show you everything I got I'm keeping when I get home. Maybe in the next few days when I'm, you know, calm down. Um, I did give away, there were all these people that were also doing auctions and they all were on this row. And so I gave away this clothing rack because I didn't really need it. And then there was a picture right here. I, I tried to give it away, but the guy wanted to give me $5, so I took his $5. I guess they do this pretty much for a living. I don't do this for a living. There is definitely like a litter box over here, but there is like a lot of neat stuff. Like I already can tell you that I'm gonna quadruple, is that a word? Quadruple? Like I'm gonna make some money. <laughs> I'm making some money. And I haven't even made it like halfway through this thing. Like this is where we are. I still don't know what that thing is in the back. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, yeah. This is definitely gonna be a money maker for sure. But I am like so sweaty. Can you see? so sweaty all right so my dad should be here soon pretty sure he's not gonna be super happy about cutting that thing up but you know it is what it is <laughs> we're family we sit together <laughs> all right guys day two um i could not between my dad and me get all the stuff in the car it just was not possible cutting up that mattress which thank god my dad did it for me because i don't think i could have done it i know he's probably too old to be doing all that stuff but he always will come and help his daughter and that means the world to me um, pretty much the mattress took up almost my whole entire car alone. So I'm going to show you kind of what we have left. Also that pink purple thing in the back, which we did get a red already was a massage table, which would have been sweet if it was like in good condition, but it was not in good condition. It like had been eaten up by something <laughs> probably because it's an outdoor unit. You never know what's going to happen in here, but I have found a lot of gems. So what I'm going to do is I'm take them home, everything home. It might take me a week or so to get everything clean and ready to go and then the end of the video will be showing all the stuff that I'm keeping selling and whatever I'm doing with it so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now and then I'm gonna load my car up and head home all right so this is what's left I saved that box for the sweep up everything in the broom's still here and then we found this thing in the back and it was pretty much almost empty now there are two laptops in there but I'm gonna have to have Rob take a look at them and see if they're worthwhile or not um so now I'm gonna try to put a lot of the stuff that's inside of those things into this to make it easier but first I might check and see if it'll fit in my back seat and how I'll configure it but a lot of stuff I got to can put in there so here I go all cleaned out room swept now I'm gonna put my deposit back and head home because it is 80 something degrees today <laughs> all right guys it has been about a week and a half <laughs> it took me a long time to get everything done um this is legitimately the largest score I have ever done in a storage unit ever. Not that I've done many of them, but OMG super score. So we're going to go through everything and then this will be a long day for me because then I'm going to have to price everything, put it all away, get it ready for the flea market, but holy score. So I'm going to do the stuff that's around me right now. I'm going to bring this up to the top of the, the uh, rolling bin and then we'll do the, side, the inside of the rolling bin, which is completely filled with stuff completely filled keep in mind i paid ten dollars for this unit ten dollars 
And also, I recounted that money that was in the purse. It was $33, not $32. So first things first, microwave. The microwave works perfectly fine. Um, I'm actually going to bring it to work because I heat up my wax, usually in the microwave that's in the back. And I used to heat up my lotion, but there's like so many people that work there. That sometimes I'll go to the back to use it and people's food will be in there, this, that, and the other. So I wanted to be like, now I can be self-sufficient in my room for everything I possibly need. So yeah, microwave, what are those? Like a used microwave, maybe you get like 20 bucks for it or something. <laughs> also, I washed this blanket. It's pretty big. It could be like a comforter for a bed, maybe like a queen, queen bed. So I kept this. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it at the flea market or if I'm going to keep it for myself. Then a whole Ikea bag, which I already have washed and dried of clothing. Varying in size from medium to 2XL. So hopefully I'll be able to make a couple boxes, cheap boxes for Poshmark for you guys. Get some of those and the rest I will donate if I can't find enough room for them. Then I clean, uh, yet again, I cleaned everything up so everything's going to look a lot nicer than maybe what you saw when it was in there. This thing works amazing. Rob's uh, logged into it, not logged into it, Bluetooth into it, and it is bumping. Bumping, bumping. All the stuff I'll have to look up after the, so literally after the video, I'll look stuff up as I'm pricing. It'll be a long day. <laughs> but yeah, so this thing, super score, works amazing. Then, I don't know, look at a brand new toilet seat. Like, I figure maybe I'll try to sell this on Facebook Marketplace for like five bucks. I don't know how much toilet seats go for. <laughs> I don't let that go to waste. Then we found this, which Yuffie's, I think, what we have for our outdoor camera i didn't know they made uh so all the stuff i had to charge up and rob tested it out so how do you do it might keep it <laughs> there are definitely a few things i'm gonna keep <laughs> then this big metal drink thing i clean that all out i don't know I probably, the thing is the fact that i only paid ten dollars for the storage unit and the fact that at the flea market i'm probably gonna just want to like move as much as i can as fast as i can i'll probably price everything really low like i mean i only paid ten dollars for the unit also the next flea market as soon as i did so bad the last one i'm just gonna do one table because i feel like if i'm selling a bunch of cheap things paying 84 dollars for two tables just really isn't worth it so all right so that is step number one I'm going to move all this out of the way, grab the second round of stuff, and then we'll roll over the bin. You might want to get yourself a snack or a drink, because this might be a long one. <laughs> so we got 28 pieces of this stick-on tile, like fake wood looking thing. So 28 pieces plus three that are kind of like a little messed up, but I guess could be used, I'll say they could be used for like cutting little pieces. That'll probably sell on Facebook Marketplace. Probably really cheap. I'll probably sell it for five bucks. 10 bucks maximum. I don't know how much those things cost, but like I said, I don't look up prices while I'm cleaning or organizing. Prices are completely after. Then look at this. It looks like completely brand new. I may even actually keep all of these except for this. I'm probably going to keep this, but I'll probably sell this for like a dollar or two. It's by Wils Will Willen? Wilton. Wilton. And then two different size pans, which look brand new. So I'm gonna get rid of ours. <laughs> and now we have brand new cooking pans. Score. Then I found this jacket. This is the only thing I didn't wash because I didn't know how it would do. Probably need to be like. So if anybody's interested in this <laughs> on Poshmark, let me know or I will. It says size medium and it's by Together. Maybe I'll put it up on Poshmark for like five bucks. I don't know. It seems like it's actual suede. Is there a. Thing says that shell all leather. The shell is all leather. That was probably expensive. It even got the little shimmies all the way in the back too. Now I get the vibe when you start seeing the rest of the stuff on the storage unit. I get the vibe. I didn't check the pockets. Little glove. Is there a glove in the other one? Nope, just one glove. <laughs> um, I get the vibe that she was maybe a healer or something to do with mysticalness or something. I don't know. <laughs> Next, besides this one that's different, so this Beanie Baby was in a plastic shell. We didn't keep that, but I just put it with the rest of the stuff. So 
this Beanie Baby, I think Rob looked it up and said it was being sold for like, or it sold for like $18 something like that. But yeah, this big Beanie Baby, and then a bunch of these coin bears. Have you ever heard of, they also were Beanie. And I guess it says when the state was made, and there's a coin at the bottom. I'm guessing it's a quarter. So you get a quarter each one. There's two Pennsylvania, I believe. Which I guess, maybe I'll, I'll give Becca one of these when she comes to visit. So Pennsylvania, Delaware, New Jersey, Connecticut, another Delaware, Georgia, and another New Jersey. All brand new, all the things on them. These, I have no clue how much they were. And then one other Beanie Baby, which is a Woolworth, still with the tag on it. Then, a roasting pan. That looks like brand new. The only thing it has is like it has the sticker on it. Like, like, like it looks like it was baked with the sticker on it. I don't know. I couldn't get it off. But you got that. Then, the stand was included in this. So the, the stand was in the thing also. All of these. I think that's a lot. And the stand was also inside of this one too. All of these. This stand will be epic for the flea market because it is heavy, where a lot of times things in my area will blow over. But look at all these. I mean, come on. Then there was this necklace. And there's like a charm right here. It's just like a charm. And on this, it says tourmaline pendant. And that she was selling it for $30. Then we got this spider necklace thing. This pair of earrings. And then a few other random earrings. I'm not going to show you like this. A few other sets of earrings. One candy corn earring. <laughs> I mean, come on guys. <laughs> and then I found one of these, but I, I thought it was so cute I just wanted to show you, but it was only one. It's like a little coarse screw. <sighs> Rewind. <laughs> and then this big basket, which also looks almost brand new. Oh wait, one more bracelet. <laughs> I mean the bracelets alone, like imagine if I sold every bracelet for a dollar, which I'm pretty sure some of these are worth more than a dollar, but maybe if I set up and like did the bottom row for a dollar, then like the top row two dollars, Now it's time to roll that card on over and take a look at all the finds that are in there. As you can tell, I'm super happy. Almost forgot the shoes. <laughs> so there's these Skechers right here. They're memory foam inside. They're size seven. They fit me perfect. I think that these would be great for maybe walking around in Italy and Greece. Of course, I'm gonna wear them a little while to see what I feel about them, but they're super cushiony. Me for me. Then there was this pair of slippers. They have a little bit, I tried to scrub off everything in the bottom. I might scrub them one more time because I don't think I really need slippers like this. Maybe I'll try to scrub them one more time and sell them for a dollar. And then these, which aren't perfect, but they got a little bit of some like here. But I didn't look up to see if this brand, Keen, this is also a size 7, is a very popular or expensive type brand. So I'll look that up. All right, on to the rolling cart. All right, so here is the rolling cart, three tiered from the storage unit. Now, I will say the wheels were included, but that piece that clicks the wheel in wasn't there. So I just hot glued them in. Rolling just fine. <laughs> so I put you back a little bit farther and we are just going to go through. You want to start at the bottom and go up? Then we'll go bottom. Bottom and up. So there was a bunch of hangers. I kept all the ones that kind of look nice. They're all that velvety type one. I might keep them for myself. I might make a few like packs like this for the flea market, maybe for like a dollar. Might do that. I think there's some in like every drawer over here. It's gonna be a hot mess. Just, I mean, it's a hand sanitizer. It looks like it's been maybe it's been used, but it's hand sanitizer. <laughs> then, brand new Neutrogena body oil for me. I'll show you the brand new. Brand new. Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> and then. This little Lego had been used. It's power grip, grab, all-purpose, interior construction adhesive, Loctite. 
look brand new. And then she has a lot of these coin holders. So one, two, three, four, four boxes of just coin holders. Look, a hand. I think she must have sold jewelry too. I don't know if she made the jewelry or just whatever. Bungee cord. This is a hardcore one too. Like nothing, nothing to mess around. And then look at all these, like, I'll take them out. So these are kind of like the things I got in the crystal scoops. I don't know the name of it, but there's five of those. You told me already if I haven't scored. I mean, I scored already just uh, with the friggin' money in the, in the wallet at $33. <laughs> there's these two bowls. Clean them up. They seem pretty neat. A pair of sunglasses. A little bling on it. This says lantern. Oh, this is the lantern. A brand new lantern, rechargeable. The box is all like not good. Oh, I didn't charge it. I didn't charge it, but it's, it works. It looks like a legit lantern, like a like a fire going. It needs to be charged. I might keep that. And here's the charger for it. It says lantern. Here's how you make a your a hot mess everywhere. It worked. <laughs> a tape measure from Ace. 26 feet. I don't think I have one that goes 26 feet. I believe this was in a bag, and I believe this is the thing that you use on the sound bowls. It goes, wow, wow. Am I right? I think it is. Or, I don't know. Is it for a drum? <laughs> There's only one of them. We got pair of uh, pliers. Still got the tag on it. I'm probably keeping that. <laughs> Two flathead screwdrivers. Probably keeping that. <laughs> then, all these little tags, which I can then use to put on some of the jewelry she has and stuff like that. This is like a win-win upon a win-win. <laughs> then, I don't know if I'm even going to take my time to look through all these, but it's a whole bunch of baseball cards. Does it say the year on it? Keystone Combo. Bart Starr, Green Bay Packers quarterback. When was that? Yeah, so there's a bunch of these. I'll probably go through, but not at it. Now. Not now. <laughs> oh, more shoes. Then there are these shoes, and they still have like the, the thing on them. These are size 7, and... Is there no, there's no brand name, but there's this at the bottom. I cleaned them up best I could, but they look brand new. This hat, I don't know, velvet. I don't really wear hats, but flea market. I sold a couple of these at the flea market for 50 cents. So I would say it'd be good to hold things up at the flea market, but the, our area is so windy that it would just blow right over. Then, one piece of amethyst. Look at this pendant. Clear quartz, but it's a necklace pendant. Two-piece uh, tumbler that you put in the, in the freezer, and it freezes the liquid at the bottom. A whole hanging set for pictures. Some twine. You never know. <laughs> oh, I found another. I think it's one to the back. Uh, found another hanger. And that thing that I said, the thing with the bottom, and then but is actually a butter thing. So it's a, like an old school tin butter thing. Not that I put my butter in anything. Oof. Let's just keep on going with the hot mess. <laughs> then. Look at these rings. That one fell out. Hold on. Look at these rings. Right? Just need to turn over a little bit. Um, yes. <laughs> and then this has number two on it. It's a necklace.
And then these things you put on your fingers. I guess they're molded to your finger because I like, tried to stick my finger in one of them and it wasn't really going in that great. But like you mold it to... I just thought it was strange. <laughs> Maybe somebody buy it. I mean, I'm not going to use it. What are you all wrapped up? Oh, like this little teapot thing. Not teapot. Hand painted. I can't read the first word though. You can't either. <laughs> if you know what it is. But yeah, this thing, little teapot thing. There's something inside of it. Oh, it's a, it's a a candle holder. Would you put like a pillar candle in there? Different. <laughs> put that right there. Look at this. Is this just a giant drummer's piece of clear quartz? It's got some like stuff on it. I tried to scrub it off, but it wouldn't come off. So, but uh, okay. And then here is the. Purse. That's what's on everything else. Here's the purse that I found the $33 in. It's in okay quality. It's a decent quality. I think there's only like a little bit of like wear and tear here and there. Like right here. But this is a gem. That's why they say make sure you look in the pockets and things like that. And those those gloves were actually really comfortable to work in. So I'm really happy I got them. But it came with two pairs. So if anybody helps me, I have somebody to help me with. And then these little... I guess teacups. I found a third one, but I broke it by mistake. <laughs> Bath bomb. Here's a big old like stand for something. That'll probably stand up at the flea market. Mini rolling pin. Ring sizer. And also, big shout out to my dad who helped me out. It stinks that the, when the storage units come live, nobody can really help me because everybody's at work. So, and then a brand new face and body skincare system. Deep cleans, exfoliations, repairs. Brand new. For your body and your face. And multiple. Also, so that ring holder also was in there too. And then these two ring holders were also in there. I meant to take like a lint roll to it, two of those, and then this thing right here, this is also by the same thing. I might have to get like a magnifying lamp or take a picture or something. Does that, that go in here? Oh, maybe it goes like this. It's a whole set. Just kidding. <laughs> huh. It's a nice little set right there. I was wondering why the hole was there. <laughs> then there's this book on... Love is in the Earth, Kaleidoscope, Pictorial, Supplements, Z. Like it has all the crystals in it. And I guess what they do for you. Then this fan, which you put around your head. And then you turn it on and it's three different levels. I had to charge this up too. This will come in super handy at the flea market and or while doing storage units. I will probably even make it tighter than that and have it even closer to me. Closer the better. Oh, I almost lost. I lost one side. Oh, I'll fix that later. Then this thing, which I know is a little bit too big for my egg. I'm going to try try it out because I did order something from Timu. I'll try to put it in here. If it fits, I'll keep it. And then I'll sell the other one. But this is like a, it's just an iron thing to hold a crystal or a ball or whatever. Then these, there's a couple sets of them and they're for like your fan, fan blade things, shells. I'm guessing that she made them. I don't really need things with shells. I'm, even though I'm at the, in Florida, my motif is not, I don't really have a motif. My motif is not beachy. So there's like two different sets. This is a smaller set. Oh, here's another piece of like crystal. This one, I feel like if I worked at it really hard, I get all the stuff off, but do I want to work at it really hard? No, no, I don't. Then this thing, that's nice. I can even use this to flea market to put stuff in. 
is pretty sturdy and it has anti-slip put like smaller items in then two packs of tarot cards <laughs> this is angel larium the oracle of imitations is this not is this not tarot cards now these are tarot cards too so two packs of tarot cards and this is crow tarot so they feel definitely lighter than the other one is there any price on them nope Two cups of tarot cards. I don't know how much tarot cards cost. Then, there's just a purple thing with where you keep your place. With this right here. I'm going to keep that. That's for me. And then, a specialty find. So, it's missing one of the pieces, but it had a double piece. Look at this tuning fork set. So, these two are exactly the same. I found this one separate because it was one missing hole. I could not find the one that actually goes in there. But, um, it's like ASMR fantasticness. I even did it. Can you hear it? It's very soothing. I feel all holistic -y now. I'm kind of tempted to keep it. <laughs> Um, it is missing, like I said, one piece, and I probably could find somebody to buy this, no problem, maybe on, like, Facebook Marketplace more than the flea market, so I'm unsure about that, what I'm gonna do yet, and that is all for drawer number two, now we have one more final drawer, which hopefully won't knock the whole entire thing over, maybe I should have started the other way around, another set of hangers, then this is just a medium weight drawing book, oh, why does she have the FBI phone number? And then, yep, just a drawn book. Fun. <coughs> One little Tupperware. Who did it buy? Pioneer Woman. 50 cents. What's that for? Straight up Pyrex. Straight up Pyrex. There's two of them in here. There's another one. I kept that to keep it safe. Another Pyrex. I mean, I know that brand names like that. Are better off than other things then also change which i counted i counted her change and it was 18 dollars and 24 cents so now also on top of that 33 dollars another 18 dollars and 24 cents <laughs> are you guys jelly yet then there was a whole bunch of coins from other countries so i don't know if she went to these places or just collected them japan malaysia spain cuba israel singapore hong kong all in there. And what's in here? Oh, so these, it says Belk. I don't know what you got in a Belk. But look at those. Those are pretty, huh? I might keep them. Erica Lyons. I'll also look that up. But got those. A pack of gloves. Mine. <laughs> Skull Piggy Bank, which had a lot of the change in it. Another thing of tea had. The rest of the change in it, I mean, right? <laughs> Hardcore quality. And then, crystal ball. Put them upside down in the thing. With the holder. <laughs> and then, what's in this one? I feel like I just didn't even, I just put this in the thing and I didn't even, like, try to untangle it or anything. I can't tell where it's, oh, it's right there. Different, huh? <laughs> Ten dollar storage unit! And a lot of batteries. Now these are definitely for sure brand new because they're still in the packaging. I'm thinking these are too. Good for testing out items. And then we got three more items. This is the Mandela Astrological, Astro, Astrological Tarot. So here's another tarot card book. This one has a whole book over here. And then I'm guessing the cards right here. That's why I think I think she was a healer or something. 
then two of these. This is the Betty Crocker's Pitcher Cookbook. And it doesn't say a price on it. I think we looked it up and it said it was 19... Direct mail version 2005. Facsimile edition 1998, direct mail version 2005. But it looks like the old school, like, Betty Crocker book. So this is maybe like a reprint of the original one. And then on top of that is another Betty Crocker's picture cookbook. And this one has, and to me it looks brand new. This one have a thing on it. Facsimile edition, 1998. But for it to be from 1998 and this good of quality, I mean, it's 2023. <laughs> so, what'd you think? I super scored. I super scored. Yes, it was a lot of work. Yes, it took me two days instead of my normal one. Yes, I had needed assistance. But, holy crud. Like my dad, when he was helping me, all he helped me do was take a lot of the trash out. Especially like that big mattress. So he didn't see the gems that I already had packed away or the things I found after he left. So I told him, I was like, wait till you see the video, Dad. Then you'll know that this was the biggest score of a lifetime. And he's like, all right, I'm looking for it. But yeah, biggest score of a lifetime. This one makes it worthwhile. It makes you want to keep doing them. I try to do the cheap ones because at least I know I can try to do it in one swale swoop. But even though it's took me two times, I don't really care. Super score. <laughs> so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or any questions please put them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible if you haven't yet subscribed do it <sighs> well thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have an amazing day i'll see you soon bye